On some previous episode I had showed you Elementary's Flatpak SDK, which is basically GNOME's SDK plus Elementary themes and LibGranite. Another thing to remember is that Elementary 6 will come with some Flatpaks pre-installed, like the GNOME Web App, aka Epiphany, that I'm running already, and I will open a terminal to prove it to you if you don't believe me. So you see that GNOME Epiphany is a Flatpak app? I told you, didn't I? And we can see some more details with the Flatpak info command. For example we'll see this app is installed from Elementary Origin, which is basically Elementary Flatpak Remote. And it is built with Elementary SDK Daily. And moreover this app itself is from the master branch and not from the stable. So on this episode I will show you the overall Flatpak user experience, and make no mistake! The move from dev files to Flatpak is by far the biggest change in Elementary 6, both for developers and users. Not everything is ready and fully working yet, and the transition will take several months after the initial release to complete. Drama Queen Coco! But let's do this anyway! Poof! I forgot to tell you that the Flatpak support is only available on Elementary's Ultimate Edition. Ok, let's start with our Flatpak remotes, and here the important to notice is that I have Elementary remote both on system and user. I also have the Flathub store installed, but that's obviously isn't gonna be officially supported by Elementary, and all Elementary community apps will be on Elementary store. Next let's check what we have installed already. So we have the Elementary platform from Elementary store on user, and we also have the free desktop platform from Flathub but that's only because it is a dependency to Epiphany, and I opened a bug already. Next we're gonna install an app from App Center to see how the UX responds, and that app will be the official elementary calculator that originally comes pre-installed. Alright! Elementary updates is the Debian App Center repository, and notice the size of the app that is around 60 kilobytes. Elementary is the Flatpak user remote, and since we already have the elementary runtime installed on user, the app size is around 160 kilobytes. But if we choose the system-wide flat pack that we're missing the runtime, the download size will climb to around 700 megabytes. In practice that isn't really a problem because all the necessary runtimes will come pre-installed, and the difference between flat pack and native apps, at least considering the elementary apps, is pretty much nothing. Ok, let's try to install here and now, and then not curated app window warning? A bug obviously! together with the missing app data and images, and hopefully but very unlikely, everything will be as it should on final release. So let's install this, and even if we're doing like 1 GB downloading, we don't get any feedback about the connection in progress. I'm pretty sure that was working on previous versions of App Center, so perhaps that's some bug. In any case I'm not gonna wait and I'm gonna cancel this, and cancel was executed immediately which is more tricky that it seems. And we also now see there are only 350 gigabytes required, so there was some partial installation done already. Anywho, gonna install it on user space that we already have the runtime, so the installation should be like boom. And again we have this stupid warning, but other than this, the installation was completed super fast. Open it, and here we go! Our lovely flat pack is up and alive! And let's make sure this is actually a lovely flat pack and not a cursed Ubuntu snap! And so, life treated us with kindness for one more time on Baby World World. Now there is the matter that App Center can install Flatpak bundles and references, so I want to also quickly show you the sideload app. Most probably you'll never need to deal with orphan Flatpaks, and when you need to, most often you will end up using Terminal. But whatever, let me show you how it works. For testing this we're gonna build a new calculator app from our Flatpak repository. So let's call this my calculator.flatpak, and we want to build the official elementary calculator app from master. Basically I'm just creating an offline bundle we can share with anyone, but Sideload can also handle Flatpak references, for example downloads from Flathub. Anyways, our Flatpak bundle is done, so we can open the files app, and then we can open it with Sideload app. So let's open it, shall we? But Sideload is smart enough to tell us this app is already installed, and even more cool is the option to directly move it to trash. But basically I'm gonna remove calculator first, and try install it back. 
Meanwhile originally I didn't like the idea of sideload, and I would prefer if App Center could handle flat pack bundles and references. Now I changed my mind and I think a separated app can actually greatly simplify things. Ok, ready? Let's try one more time! So now it says it is an untrusted app and I should understand? What? I just produced this app, and if desktop software was actually a good software it should know already. Well, we might not having machine learning on our desktop, but we have our calculator back again from a flat pack bundle and sideload. 